Guys, this is about the fourth time that I've tried to record this video this weekend. For some reason, I feel like this just does not want to be posted. Um, I'm going to try one more time. We're doing um, an all signs, how do they feel about you? If something happens this time, <laughs> I'm just going to post something else. So uh, if you're watching this, it, it finally did work. Um, I have to say that I'm not um, on the pre uh, previous recordings. Um, it wasn't that great. It looks like there's a lot of misunderstandings in the air, okay? So I'm just going to go right through the zodiac in the order of, um, of each sign, okay? Um, Vedic, why is using Vedic astrology? So I'm going to start with Aries, okay, the top of the zodiac, cardinal fire. So we're looking for Aries person, okay? How, Aries, how your person feels about you. So it could be any sign. Aries, you could be involved with any sign. How does your person feel about you? Same thing that I got in the previous ones. So your person has made some kind of a choice. I know you're looking at the lovers and you're thinking, yay. Um, but no, what's going on here? Sorry, the bearer of bad tidings. Um, your person has made a choice that is wrong. Okay, this is what's going on. They may love you, but they've made a choice that is wrong. How do they feel about Aries? I mean, they do feel, they do love you. They do feel that you're the empress. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? See? The reason why they're feeling like this is because they've made a choice that is wrong regarding you, Aries. They do love you, and they do feel that you're the empress. Any hint on any future action from Aries person toward Aries? Trickery. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that except get a personal reading. Okay. I'm so sorry. This is exactly what was coming up previously. Moving on to Taurus. Okay, I'm going to switch decks. Taurus, you are fixed earth. We're going to look at... Fixed Earth, yeah. We're going to look at how your person feels about you, Taurus. Okay, for Fixed Earth, how does Taurus's person feel? So we're looking at people born generally, April 20 to May 20, Fixed Earth. How does your person, the person that you love the most, how do they feel about you, Taurus? Um, Taurus, you could be involved with an Aquarius or a water sign. They are coming to you. They want to come to you with some room. Okay, but here we go again. This romantic offer, this Knight of Cops offer, is a lie. I'm sorry. I, ha I just have to read what I'm seeing. <sighs> Devil, Seven of Swords. Uh, so in a nutshell, be careful about... I mean, this person is very attracted to you. They're probably going to be making promises that they can't live up to. It's because they want to get physical with you and they don't want to deal with any attachments. I'm so sorry. This is exactly what I was getting previously. Oh, Taurus. Something is going to come out into the light about this, though. They can't hang on to this forever, Taurus. Could be dealing with a Pisces or Leo. Uh, they could be making you wait. I feel like you've invested in them. All right, I'm sorry, Taurus. Any possible future action from this person toward Taurus? Um, in time, this person may uh, give you a fresh start. Yeah, they're looking at a fresh start right now. You could be dealing with an Aqua or a Virgo Taurus. Um, so I think if you wait this out... Yeah. I think if you wait this out, it, you may feel a shift. Um, I'm seeing that there's two women involved, okay? Taurus, um, <clears throat> and one of them is very manipulative, and that is the problem, okay? One of them is manipulating your person, Taurus. Sorry. Okay. Um, so we've done um, April to me. Now we're moving on to Gemini. I'm going to switch decks. Gemini, how does your person feel about you? It's Gemini, first of all, they're probably all upside down over you. How does your person feel about you, Gemini? They're heartbroken. 
because you're not putting enough work into the relationship, Gemini. Gemini, you're being cold, okay? There's something that, um, there is something, Gemini, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn. I think something has come out into the open, Gemini, and your person, um, yeah. Gemini, you could be already, you could already have a previous connection. Your person has just discovered this. How does Gemini's person feel about them? They want the Ten of Cups with you. They really do, but they feel like you've been, they may have raised your, their sword to you, Gemini. So they may feel like you have another person involved and it's not fair. So they've raised their sword. Oh, Gemini, how does your person feel? Yeah, they found out a truth that just is not fair. All right. Oh, boy. All right, Cancer. How does your person feel about you, Cancer? How does your person feel about you, Cancer? Cancer, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sag. Cancer, how does your person feel about you? Cancer, how does your person feel about you? Could also be doing, dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus or Virgo. Cancer, your person feels like you're giving to two. <laughs> Sorry, this is all bad news. Your person's had a tower moment, Cancer. They're probably off on their own just looking at all of this, trying to figure out how this happened. They really feel like something's unfair, and they've had a tower moment. I don't know what's, what is going on? <laughs> cancer, um, anything else from Cancer's person? I mean, they look up to you like you're the star, okay? This could be an Aquarius or Leo you're dealing with. I mean, this person really, really loves you, okay? They love you. They look up to you. This could be a Gemini, a Virgo, or um, an Aquarius. All right, let's move on. Leo, we're going to stick with the same deck. Oh, no, we're not. I'm going to deal with the Star Tarot, okay? Leo. Fixed Fire. How does your person feel about you, Leo? How does your person feel about you? Leo. Ooh, you're dealing with an Aqua. A lot of you are. Um, okay, so how does Aqua feel about Leo? What a surprise. There's your card, another one of your cards. Knight of Wands and the Sun. These are both your cards. So they feel like you're in and out, not constant enough, not, um, not stable. They want you to be a little more um, predictable. They do love you, okay? We've got the Knight of Cups um, toward the Knight of Wands. Um, how does Leo's person feel about Leo? Yeah, um, so this could be someone that you were involved with previously because they want to raise something up from the dead, literally, in a romantic way. So it could be someone that you were previously involved with. How does Leo's person feel about Leo? They feel like you're making them wait to, for this restart, though. How does Leo's person feel about Leo? This could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn, Pisces. They feel like your heart is a little closed, Leo, and you're making them wait. Okay. Yeah. Um, they feel like your heart is closed. We've got the chariot and the, and this could be a Cancer or a uh, Capricorn, but they feel like your heart is closed, Leo, and you're not. All right. You're not, we're gonna go on to Virgo. We're gonna use the essential tarot for Virgo. All right. Um, Virgo, you could also be dealing with Leo. How does um Virgo's person, Virgo, your person, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about Virgo? How does Virgo's person feel about Virgo? Virgo, you could be dealing with uh, an Aquarius or a Taurus. Virgo, your person loves you. They look up to you. They want to marry you. <laughs> Virgo, how does your person feel about you? They're feeling the tower and the star. Could be an Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio. But they, their feelings are very strong, Virgo. Yeah, they want you to make a decision, especially if it's an Aquarius. They would like for you to make a decision now. Um, geez, Virgo. How does Virgo's person feel about Virgo? 
Yeah, so Virgo, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. These are very strong feelings. They want you to sort of take over, take a position. You know, this could also be an Aquarius. There's a strong connection here between Virgo and Aquarius, and it's good. If you were previously involved with, and look at this, Two of Wands, Aquarius. Very, very encouraging um, connection there between Aquarius and Virgo. Yep, I mean, you're being told, Virgo, I feel like you're getting signs about this connection with the Aqua. It's correct. It's good. It's a very strong, the universally approved connection. <laughs> Virgo. So um, now we're going to look at a September to October. That is Libra. I think I'm going to switch. No, I'm going to stick with this deck. No, I am going to switch decks. So we're going to use the Millennium Thought for Libra. Libra, your person wants to marry you right off the bat. Right off the bat, they want to marry you. This could be, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, and Libra, have you cut this person off? Libra, you're in, uh, yeah, they want to marry you, Ten of Pentacles. But what is this, Libra? Um, well, this is Jupiter in Libra. It's the Four of Swords. This could be you. That's Jupiter in Libra. They could be thinking very, they could be contemplating this marriage. But Libra, your person, they absolutely want to marry you. Okay, very strong. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Libra. What did I say? Okay. Um, yeah, what's the delay, Libra? What are you doing meditating? <laughs> okay, um, so we've done Libra. So that brings us to Scorpio, so we're going to have a look at um, Scorpio. We're going to use the Light Sears deck. How does your person feel about you, Scorpio? They want to run to you, Scorpio. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or any fire sign, uh, they're very attracted to you, Scorpio. Um, they want to offer you something. Oh, they're thinking about you all the time. Could be a Libra. Look at this. They think about you when they're sleeping, and they want to run to you, Scorpio. How does Scorpio's person feel about Scorpio? Yeah, I'm getting Ace of Wands and Four of Swords, so Scorpio, you may be out of contact with your person. But they're just thinking about you nonstop, and they're very, very enthused about you. This person is very physically attracted to you. Look at this. They're, you know, they're sitting in hermit mode just thinking about you, thinking about this Ace of Wands. So you may have had, like, one. This could be in its early stages. Oh, my goodness. Ten of Pentacles. Um, Scorpio, this person really loves you. This, they, they love you. They, they want commitment with you. Yeah. They also want a fresh start with you. So um, this could be an Aquarius. This could be a Virgo. This could be a Leo. Um, they feel like you are, feel like actually Scorpio, I feel like they're in denial of their feelings. They certainly are. And you know what they could be doing is they could be engaging in a third party situation to handle this. This could be a Sag as well. Or they could be, this could be Sag or Leo, and what this person is doing to handle their feelings for you is they're, engaged, they're either in denial, or they're not talking to you. Yeah, I just feel like they're in some major denial, Scorpio, about their feelings for you. But I mean, just look, Ace of Cups feelings and Seven of Wands denial. What do you do about that? I don't know. Any advice for Scorpio? Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, could be a Cancer or Water Sun. Any advice for Scorpio on this? I feel like just be open about your emotions. I don't know what it's going to take for this person to come around, Scorp. Yeah, I mean, they, fe they feel left out in the cold. Why are they feeling like this? This person could just be a little bit manipulative, Scorp. You don't like that. They're making a big mistake if that's what they're doing. Big mistake. Feel some emotional manipulation here. Oh, they'll have to learn the hard way, won't they, Scorpio? <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're on to Sagittarius. So what deck are we going to use for Saggy? Let's use... Let's use the crystal... Okay, Sag, we're going to use the crystal visions for you. What is Sagittarius's person feeling for Sag? 
Sagittarius is person feeling for Sag. Whoa, we've got the Hierophant and the Empress. I just feel like um, this is either really good or really bad. Either they want to marry you, they see you as the Empress, or something is wrong because there is an Empress. We're going to find out how is Sag this person feeling about Sag. I'm getting the Hierophant again in the Knight of Wands. Sag, um, no, I feel like this is good. I feel like your behavior might be in and out, but they do, they want something stable and long-term with you. How are they feeling about Sag? Yeah, this could be a Leo, um, or you could be acting like a Leo. <laughs> I've got the Knight of Wands and the Sun. So, it, you know, they may have very traditional feelings for you, but what's happening is they're realizing that you're very in and out. Yeah, I mean, I just keep getting the sun and the knight of wands, the sun and the knight of wands. This could be something about a Leo. Oh, yeah, here we go. Something is wrong because we've got the three of swords, Sag, and the knight of wands. So something has gone wrong here. I mean, your person loves you very much, but you've broken their heart. Seven of wands, um, three of swords, Sag. Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands. So you've been in denial of your feelings, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you've been in denial of your feelings. I feel like I'm speaking, speaking to the Sag male. Yeah, you've caused a tower moment for your person. I'm going to specifically now go into the Sag female because that was male Sag, no doubt. Sagittarius female, how is your person feeling about you? Sagittarius female, how is your person feeling about you? Okay, so you're out of contact right now. They don't know what to do about it, but they're trying to fix it. How are they feeling about Sag, female, female Sag? Um, they want to move toward you. They don't know how. They want to move toward you. They don't know how. Sagittarius, female, how does your person feel about you? Ooh, they really love you, and they want to move toward you. They feel like you're intuitive. They see you as the queen of wands, which is exactly what you are intuitive, attractive, independent, they want to move toward you. Yeah, but I believe, Sag, that you've cut them off. How do they feel about Sag female? Female Sag. They feel lucky to have you, but you've cut them off. <laughs> you may be arguing right now over a karmic. So female Sag, there have been some arguments. It could be over the fact that they're already married, but they have very traditional feelings for you. Look at this. Here's you. Here's how they feel about you. They want to marry you. There could be something else in the way, Sag female, but um, this person is very serious about you. Okay. Yeah, they're up all night. They are stressing over you like you wouldn't believe. I hope we can fix this, Sag female. All right. Oh. <sighs> Let's move on to, they are really hot for you, Sag female, because my, my body temperature went up when I was asking for your person's feelings for you. feel like they're upset, very upset and angry about something. So obviously they have very, very strong feelings for you, Sag. Okay, female, Sag male, you've been a bad boy. Okay. Um, all right, so we're moving on to Capricorn. Are we moving on to Capricorn? Yes, we are. Capricorn, I'm going to use Essential Tarot, okay? And I'm going to roll the deck. Death. So Capricorn, <laughs> your person feels like you've ended things, you know, like things are not going to work. Uh, Capricorn, how does your person feel? Page of Swords, the Star. They feel like you're involved with an Aquarius, all right? Capricorn, you definitely could be involved with an Aquarius. Judgment. They feel like you've restarted things with an Aquarius. The star. There's just Aquarius energy judgment. They can't think of anything else but this other person. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they... What is that? There's a decision that you made. What is this? Age of Pentacles to offer. Yeah. So it looks like if you're dealing with an Aquarius Capricorn... Um, they're happy because they you made a decision to restart things with them. If you're dealing with someone else, they feel like death because you've restarted something with an Aquarius. 
Uh, we've got the Emperor and the Page of Swords. So if this is an Aries, they're feeling the tower. So they've got they've had a tower moment. Probably because Page of Swords, because they found out about something. Oh, Capricorn. So for the person that Capricorn loves the most, how do they feel about Capricorn? I feel like um, you're seeing, the person that you love the most, I believe is an air sign, because that's what I'm looking at. And they, they simply want to, to things to be resurrected. How does Capricorn's person feel? They want to marry you. Okay. How does Capricorn's person feel? Um, if you're dealing with a water sign, a queen of cups, they want to marry you. Capricorn, it looks all around like everyone, everybody loves Capricorn, you're winning on all levels. I'm going to move on to Pisces now, and I'm going to use a watery deck for Pisces using the Witch's Tarot. Pisces, last time we checked in on you, everything was looking fantastic. Let's just see if anything's changed. Pisces, how does your person feel about you? Ooh, they feel like something isn't right because of a third party, possibly, or that you're not willing to build. Um, yeah, Pisces, your person is incensed that possibly that you moved on or they're angry about... Um, yeah, I think they feel like you, Pisces, you may have started something up and departed quickly or started something up with a, a, a water sign, a Scorpio or a Cancer or you started something up with an Aries woman, Pisces, they're upset. Um, Pisces, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, they really love you, okay? Uh, they think you are the be-all and the end-all. If you're dealing with a Sag, they just, it, they feel like you want to end things, but they, but you are the cream of the crop to them. Um, Pisces, if you're dealing with an Earth sign, they feel like you betrayed them. Um, Pisces, if you're dealing with an earth sign, I mean, they, they want you to be a king and a queen together. There is a perfect match there, Pisces, um, if you're dealing with an earth sign. Yeah, but, but this earth sign feels very left out in the cold. Pisces, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they feel very left out in the cold. Okay. Um, yeah, if you're dealing with a Libra, they feel left out in the cold. Pisces, what have you been doing? Um, Pisces, how does your person feel? Yeah, they feel like you've blocked them. How does your person feel, Pisces? Sorry. You may have had good reason to do this. Pisces, if you were dealing with a Leo, you've blocked them and you had good reason to do it. Pisces. Ah, uh, but they're looking for you. Okay? If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're looking for you. Aquarius, how does your person feel about you? Aquarius, your person feels like you're moving on to someone else. Yep. Feel like Aquarius is, sorry, on the move. I'm going to switch decks because something just fell on the floor. This could be the wrong deck. Aquarius, how does your person feel about you? Yep. I feel like you've raised your sword to them. They want to communicate with you. Boy, Aquarius, I feel like that you have communicated with them that it is over. Aquarius, how does your person feel about you? Yeah, they just feel cut off. They feel like you've ended it. How does your person feel about you? They want to communicate with you, Aqua. Aqua, you could be dealing with the Sag. This tells me that they want to communicate with you. They want to say that they'll, they're willing to do anything to make this work, anything to make this work. But you, I don't think that you're willing to engage in this. They feel like you've made a decision to end this aqua. Yep, because you feel like it's the same old, same old. You feel like it's the wheel of fortune. How does Aquarius this person feel? They feel, they feel like you're two-timing them. I don't think you are, though. Yeah. They just, they want 
some communication and they want it now about what's going on. Yep, they really feel like, I think they want to communicate that they want to build with you, Aqua. How do they feel about Aqua? Yeah, they're thinking about you nonstop. They're thinking about building with you. Yeah, they just, they want to communicate with you. They feel like you're completely out of reach. They want communication now. These are the hours of love. Thanks, Aqua.